TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. What? I'm right behind you. Who's that? Uh, right behind me, you see it. Little warning screen. We won't need it for this video, I don't think. But, you know, twitch.com. That's where you can catch live streams. At the bottom is the username. Don't forget, we also got a Patreon where we post Monday through Friday. And there, uh, we also got um, merch. The link to all of that is down in the description. This is Cal Freezy. I investigated the UK's most obese town. Now, you may ask me, why am I watching this? Um, there's a lot of hoopla on America being obese which is you know what i'm saying okay but uh the uk is the most obese european country there is right and i feel i feel like we forget that sometimes and i'm not you know what i'm saying technically if you want to bring out technicalities i'm overweight but it it fits me you know what i'm saying Am I delusional? No. You feel me? Now talk to me. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. So I'm here in what is considered to be the most obese town in the United Kingdom. Britain is too fat and is getting mm. fatter. Damning wow. figures today revealed that obesity costs British taxpayers almost 14 billion pounds a year, twice as much as those of a healthy weight. Hospital admissions linked to obesity have doubled to more than 3,000 people a day. A shocking a stat day? that we found out was that over 80% of the population in the UK of Ebbyvale was considered obese, meaning their BMI ranges from 30 or higher. Radical measures are needed if we are to start saving lives. First thing I needed to do was to actually chat to some of the locals around here and see if they agreed with being labeled the I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never seen this ever in my life. Was to actually chat to some of the locals. A sign that say we're on Uber Eats is tough. You ain't gotta get up, you ain't gotta walk. <laughs> Grab your phone. Around here and see if they agreed with being labeled the UK's fattest town. Are you from around here? Yes. Did you know that this was voted one of the UK's most unhealthiest towns? Yes. You did know that? Oh, yeah. Do you guys eat much fast food? Yeah, because that's all there is up here. Wait, oh, what, what, have you, what, what have you got there? Greg's. Greg's. Yeah. And would you say that's a pretty popular spot? Right here. Yeah, definitely. It's one of the main places in town. Uh, Does Greg's count as fast food though? It's like a bake shop with, with all kinds of goodies and things of that nature that will stimulate your palate and your taste buds. I don't think it's like, it, it, it don't fall in the category of McDonald's. Do it? I don't know. Um, so do you, do you, both of you guys live here? Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. yeah. This, so this place was actually voted one of the most unhealthy places in the UK. Would you agree with that? Do you think that's fair? Yeah. Do you yeah. think it is? Yeah. 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 What, what is it about this place that makes you think that? Yeah. 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 So do, do you think they have a... What did bro just say? Let me read the subtitles. So it makes you think that? So do, do you think they have a problem with that as well around here? Well, then, isn't it? You can walk around the room to have a 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, right? And you got them all sleeping in the shop door, isn't it? All right, lads. Cheers. Appreciate appreciate right. your words. Thank you very much. Have a good day, guys. I'm not going to lie. Every Everyone, every time we bring up the fact that it's unhealthy, the first Say thing, people, drugs first. The first thing yeah. people think of is drugs, yeah. not the food, which I think is pretty interesting. Crazy. We you just got to stop. You got to stop saying unhealthy. You got to rip the band-aid. I uh, read a study recently that this place was one of the most unhealthy places in the United Kingdom. Would you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Do you reckon that... <laughs> she was tickled. 
<laughs> drugs, you reckon it's the food places. What is it about it that Probably might cause that? Probably the food places. It's a lot yeah. of takeaways around here. The same for you? Yes, pretty much, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you guys very much for your time. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, yes. Hi there. Um, there was a study done that it was the fattest city in the UK. There you go. Do you think that's, that's right? True. <laughs> Fat white. 80%. Are either overweight or obese here. Do you agree with that? Yeah. yeah I was literally walking down the street earlier and I was thinking, fuck me. Like, there's some <laughs> fat <laughs> shit. <laughs> and what do you reckon? She ain't she wrong. You are wrong, ma'am. The busiest places, uh, food places here. McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> Is that the busiest, yeah? yeah? Well, we might have to go and check that out then. Dang, I'm in the way. I am the better editor on the platform, though, so that's an easy fix. Boom. Feel me? <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Early on, there was a common theme, and that was the McDonald's. So we decided to take our investigation over there. Hiya. Am I all right just to ask you a couple questions about this town? No. no. Okay. Do you Okay. Am I all right to ask you a couple questions about this town? What's up, man? Uh, yeah, no, so this town was actually recently voted one of the fattest towns in the United Kingdom. Would you agree with that? I don't. Sound bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, are there, you said there's a bunch of crackheads around here. All right, well, we've just been, been sold that there's a lot of crackheads around here. Maybe, maybe we've changed the video at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, the world's most depressed. Crack and back fat. That's, that's, this, this town is wild and... They know for cracking back fat. These are two serious addictions, though. Like, let's not forget that. And if anybody's out there fighting addiction, get you. There's help out. There's help out there. I'm being serious. Pressing down <laughs> crackheads and unlimited fast food. <laughs> to be fair, that probably is a genuine reason or Absolutely. cause. Yeah. Um, is that obviously if somebody's on loads of drugs, it's not like you're going to be thinking, "Ooh, I need to have a healthy meal yeah. now." Yeah. Let's... Let me just put down the heroin. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not going to be thinking that they're going to have a meal at all. A lot of class A's curve your curve your appetite, buddy. Cut the <laughs> celery. Yeah. It looks like the word's gotten out here at Abu. Abby, uh, Abby, Abby, vale. Abby vale. And so we're gonna we're, we're gonna ask these fine strapping young gentlemen yes. that look very approachable about this place. Hi there, fellas. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice What's to your name? Yeah. So um, this place was actually voted the fattest town in the United Kingdom. Do you think do you think that's fair? He's quite too fat. Reason, yeah. Reasonably, yeah. Mate over there, look. He's nice nice guy though. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, that's a valid, that's a fair point, I suppose. What do you what do you think? What is it about hey, this place that makes that's you? That's supposed to be your friend. It be it do be your own people though. That's crazy. Think that it's unhealthy. It's too many fast food restaurants. Yeah. yeah. If you were to guess, how many do you reckon there are? Good twenty, I think. There are fifty-five fast food places here, and in total, there are only seventy-five places here. When people talk about this place being unhealthy, do you think they're talking about the younger generation or the older people? A lot of child uh, children are. I think that's like Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not many, not many people's parents seem to be doing something about the like. Uh -huh. Amazing. All right, thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Cheers to that, guys. Cheers. Appreciate it. Thank you. One thing I've noticed about Ebbie Vale is there's one fresh fruit and veg shop in this entire place so far. Everything is either frozen food or fast food. It's fully stocked, the fresh vegetable place. That's there's the problem. <laughs> You're lucky to get out of the town alive, boy. So I don't know whether they take that as a threat from them yeah. or what, but they weren't. They, they were slightly dodgy, so I'm not surprised. Don't mess with those. Yeah. Down a dark alley, you know what I mean? Hello, mate. The food options in Ebu Vale were clearly a massive problem. It was mainly populated with fast food chains like Greg's, kebab shops, Domino's, and there was a real lack of healthy food options. It's safe to say that even just like walking up and down. You know, when I when I used to party a lot, my go-to the next day was Domino's thin crust, medium, the, the uh, build it yourself, but I put barbecue sauce, mozzarella cheese, and chicken. Well done, make sure it's done. It's a hit to me, tastes good. These gas, there is a big lack of good vibes. Generally, this place seems like, unfortunately has no ambition. And a lot of the people here often, you know, turn to vices in unhealthy foods and- Drugs. Exactly. The fact that there is only one quote unquote healthy store 
says it all. Yeah. So off we go to another fast food store to investigate further. <laughs> Hi there. Could I order a margarita with a large slice of truth? Who is this guy? <laughs> They say that 80% of people here are either overweight. Do you agree with that or? I have to say, I would agree, honestly. Yeah. Um, they tend to be building a lot more fast food, so oh, yeah. a lot of Costas, a lot of Greggs. Do, yeah. do, do you have regular customers here? Uh, yeah, yeah, we've got quite a lot of regular customers. Um, they come in every week, actually, as always, on Thursday. <laughs> um, there was a customer that came in three times in a row. This video made me look down and check what I, you know what I'm saying? pull my shirt out, belly creases and things of that nature just to make sure like I'm not, you know what I'm saying? It was two wraps of a set of cookies. Each day, Each every day. single day. It was a different wrap. Okay. okay. Well, at least he changed that. At least he changed yeah. that. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. Cheers, have a good day, yeah? Look, That's why. five quid as well. That Again, you, you want to compare that to the prices of the healthy gaff. Five quid, you're getting a wrap and a drink. It's tough to compete. All right. It is. I always say this when I watch these type of videos. It's cheaper to eat fast food than it is to eat healthy. You know what I'm saying? You go to McDonald's, get you a, you know. Nah, let me not use McDonald's. McDonald's expensive nowadays. Chipotle expensive. The point is, you can get like a like a, a meal for $10 at McDonald's. Double cheeseburger meal, $10 and some change. And you might can supersize, supersize it. You know what I'm saying? Large Sprite, 32 ounces. Why do you need 32 ounces of Sprite? And when I ask that question, I'm asking myself because I'll be supersizing it. McDonald's Sprite is some of the best Sprite you can get off on the planet. It's like they use Norwegian glaciers for the water. And did, never, never mind. My fault. All right, now everybody loves a kebab shop. And in the UK, kebab shops are like the holy grail. Hi there. Can I ask, just ask you, do you have like, a lot of regular customers here? Yeah, lots. Do you get people coming in multiple times a day? Sometimes, two times. Really? Yeah. Up to two times a day, somebody will just come in here. Wow. Do you like it here? It's fucking shit, though. It's shit? Yeah. yeah. What, do, what don't you like about it? Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Have a good one, guys. Someone has, has let slip that we're here and it's gotten a bit chaotic. Gosh damn it, that younger generation. Oh, you pesky ones. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my god, oh, this, this place is mental. Everyone just jumped in their cars and it's like a game of hide and seek. Hello, hello. How are you? What's going on, man? How are you? Yeah, nice to meet you. Are the younger people overweight and obese or are they, for the most part, pretty good? Some are pretty good, yeah, but there are some uh, wampers, right? <laughs> like you go to any cafe and it's just wampers. loaded. Fats, 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 everything, really? man. Sugars is, is, is there a cafe around here that you'd recommend us to go? Yeah, Mountain Ears are. Is that good? I'm not sure where it is, though, but everyone raves about Mountain Ears. Really? Yeah. All right, I think we're going to try and head there and see if yeah. we can find ourselves a so decent meal. Like so we're here. At the Mountain Air. Good food. Great prices. <laughs> and actually an incredible view to be fair. So. Hold on, no entry. <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, here it is. Had to visit Mountain Air because of the Mountain Air Mixed Grill Challenge Special. 16 ounces pork steak, 16 steak, 16. I knew what this was familiar. Uh, I think beard meets food been here. I was like, Mountain Air, why does it sound familiar? I think beard meets food ate here. And if he hasn't, he's, he's, Nah, he has to. 16 ounces of pork, 16 ounces of steak, 16 ounces of what? Gammon? What is a gammon? What is that, a mythical UK creature? What is a gammon? Two chicken breasts, two lamb chops, four fried eggs, four jumbo sausages, paws. It's insane. Peas, mushrooms, onions, onion rings, and chips. Fifty nine ninety nine 99 are free if you eat it all on your own within an hour. In the almond, two chicken breasts, two lamb chops, four fried eggs, four jumbo sausages, peas, mushrooms, onion rings, chips, 60 pounds. Or free, if you complete it on your own in an hour. Mountain air chicken, served with the air of a mountain. Okay, I'll... <laughs> I suppose there's only been one man that's ever managed to complete this challenge, and it is none other than Beard Meets Food. Sure. I told you, I knew I'd seen him on here. But I, I'm telling y'all, y'all really don't think I watch Beard Meets Food? Y'all think I only watch it on here? No, I, I really we, I really watch, dude. You know what I'm saying? In 34 minutes. Well done. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, you give me a round of applause in there. <laughs> 
Wow, eh? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even pick up both pieces, mate. Ah. Is that the sausage? <laughs> Take a guess, Reeve. Yeah. How much calories do you reckon was on the plate to begin with? Total thing. Chips included, onion rings, six and a half thousand. I think that's that's all my meat's done, by the way. Well, it is, you know. <laughs> two pork, gammon, lamb chops, and then all the chicken and the two sausages. So what have I been doing? <laughs> I don't know, eating the onion rings, apparently. <laughs> have you had your chicken as well? Yeah, yeah. So what the hell have I been doing <laughs> for the last 15 minutes? I really don't know. That I'm was, behind on all made. meats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything on the plate, bar the onion rings, which you've, I've, you know what, I'll take these off your hands because you've covered more than I have. I wonder if they uh, ever lock that door. <laughs> 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 Mate, please, I'm on the road. Right. I'm on the road. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. The beast isn't coming alive. The fact that this exists here is interesting because this is really this is not in the middle of nowhere, but it's, um, it's quite rural. I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm in food coma territory. I, f I feel. S s when you eat sausage that long, you gotta cut it up into pieces, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know if the UK is familiar with, with Paul's and AO. But this is it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sick. We tried the local cuisine. Fantastic. Albeit a lot. <laughs> Regardless, we're gonna go and check out, speak to a few more people, Nasty and understand though. a little bit more about why this is the UK's fattest town. So the question that was still on my mind was why are people getting so many takeaways rather than healthier sources of food? One thing I've noticed, right? <laughs> we were talking about price of nutrition. Yeah, that was funny. I was thinking about it. It's the Norwegian glacier water and uh, McDonald's Sprite. It gotta be something. That's the same water that Thor and them drink. <laughs> Fruit, more expensive than a sausage roll in Greg's. Look, there's loads of stuff. There's lots of bits and bobs you can get here. Look, and then look. Yeah, yeah. And then look down here. Funny how the stuff that has less stock are the sweets, and the stuff that is full of stock is the fruit. Was, um, this, this is considered one of the most unhealthy towns here, but you've obviously got yeah. a great spot here with loads of healthy food. And so I just wanted to get your thoughts. Our generation doesn't know how to cook. Okay. Whereas the older generation knows how to cook and make meals from scratch. We us we don't. McDonald's is too easy. Yeah, we rely on like frozen foods like pizzas and you know just yeah. easy ready meals. Heroin foods? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Talk to me. Look at this offer. Four pounds for two pizzas, wedges and brownies. Bro. That's like what? A, a quid a, a quid a piece. But the fact that that's front and centre of the shop as the advertisement just goes to show how bad the nutrition is. Can't be quality. I'm not the buy. Unbelievable value. Maybe not so great for your body, but still. In a place like this, what do you reckon most people are buying? Frozen stuff. Frozen, Frozen. stuff. Frozen, yeah, definitely. Do, do you find that people choo are, are choosing more and more healthy things recently, or do you think that no. this is a pretty unhealthy place? Unhealthy, definitely. Yeah. Like yeah. all our posters, it's all unhealthy, if you know what I mean. What do you attribute that to? Why do you reckon that um, is? Fruit and veg is so pricey. If, if there's one thing that you would change, what would that be? The prices of fruit and okay. veg, yeah, definitely, 110%. Okay, amazing. Thank yeah, you so thank much. You. Really. I'm not going to lie to you, fruit and vegetables don't taste as good as unhealthy stuff. Also, like, let's be real about it. I don't care what seasonings you put on it, how you dress it up, how you plate it. It don't taste as good. I appreciate that. You're amazing. You. She is right. Like, it genuinely is so cheap here. And in, in something... W oh, wait, you look excited by something. Shit. <laughs> it's all shit. Yeah. Mental. All right. Cool. Let's get out of here. Just looking promoting it. it's yeah. still front and center food. front and center Every frozen shop. scran baby where are the carrots eh to combat this epidemic Ebuvale had spent 15 million pounds on a brand new gym facility so it was our That's turn nice. to head in there to see if we can get an interview with any of them hi there hi yeah. is it empty we were just uh, making a video we were in town here so we wanted to get some nice shots of the the facility you guys have here is that possible I need to speak to the manager. Oh, okay. I'm so full, man. It's gonna be a fail. Unfortunately, it's got a control marketing manager. Okay. 
I need me to get permission from where. No worries. Okay. I'm not. Am I okay to ask one of you guys just a couple of questions about the place? Then is that okay? Are we all right to ask you a few questions on here? Is that all right? I don't know if you knew this, but the town has been voted oh, as yes. Yeah. The so wait, you knew about this? So you yes, know. on YouTube. But the, but the gym's a brand new facility, right? And it's trying to combat. Yeah, from yeah. COVID. So do you reckon it's enough? The gym is nice. I ain't gonna lie what they're doing at the moment to combat the problems or do you reckon they need to build either more of these or it's just not working like the people around you are lazy it's just fat man. it's yeah. just kfc mcdonald's yeah. greggs yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Molds, yeah. will, will ever ever veil ever come out of the no there's no there's yeah. no chance no probably no get hope. worse no i probably get worse all right well there we go there we have it it looks like he thinks there's no hope for yeah. this place even as a guy that works at the gym, he has just said there's no hope for the, for the town. <laughs> Honestly, after spending time in Ebu Vale, I actually came away from it feeling a little bit sad, a little bit disheartened, because it really seemed as though Ebu Vale, as a town, as a city, had kind of given up. And with that in mind, I at least want to do my part, even if it's just in a small little way. So in the description of this video, you're going to see a list of charities that will all help and be involved and I'm going to be donating the entirety of the proceeds from this video. 711,000. It's a lot. <laughs> to those charities. I'd love it if you guys could get involved as well and choose one or choose a couple and donate as well. Because at the end of the day, being healthier can only be a good thing. That's a fact. This is very educational and entertaining at the same time and eye-opening. Till I leave a like, comment, subscribe, and go.